Hi, in this video I'm going to share with you my review on the new Natasha Denona Glam Palette. I'm going to swatch it, compare it with the Mini Glam and with the ABH Sultry Palette. I'm going to apply it on me and finally I will tell you my opinion about it. So if you are interested, just keep on watching. If you already saw one of my videos before, thank you for returning and if you are new to my channel, my name is Marisa, welcome! In here we talk about everything beauty and lifestyle, focusing on over 50 issues, so if you think that this content might interest you, please consider subscribing and following me on Instagram. The new medium-sized palette from Natasha Denona comes in the typical packaging for the medium-sized palettes, in grey this time. The cardboard box has ingredients, the names of the shades, their formula. The medium-sized palette from Natasha is the same as previous ones, Love Palette, Bronze Palette and Sunrise. And it has a big sized mirror on the inside, 15 eyeshadows, which have the total weight of 19.25 grams or 0.67 ounces. They have on the back little holes through which we can pop out the eyeshadows, which are magnetized. The color story of this palette is an extension of the mini palette Mini Glam and it's an arrangement of cool and neutral shades. It has only 5 mattes, which are in the formula creamy matte, 9 metallics and 1 chroma crystal, which is this one here, this pink shade. With this palette, Natasha has introduced two new concepts. The eyeshadows, instead of having the typical usual names, are actually named according with a position in which Natasha thinks that the eyeshadow would be well placed or appropriate. For. So, for instance, this eyeshadow here is designated as, as center eyelid. The next one is the outer eyelid. Here is blend and here is smoke. Obviously, the idea is to make the use of a palette such as this with 15 eyeshadows as easy for beginners as possible. If you have already a palette from Natasha, you know that she organizes the eyeshadows in order to make make each horizontal line, vertical line, square, diagonal a look. She makes this to make it easier for beginners like me to use her palettes. So this time she extended even more this help. Besides this arrangement of eyeshadows, she created additionally three. One that is more appropriate for darker skin tones, one that is probably more flattering for medium skin tones and one for light skins. And I find all this concept extremely innovative. Innovative? You understand? Very original, certainly unique. So let's go to the swatches. Now, I have to say that when I saw this palette on Instagram, I immediately thought of the Sultry palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And if I place it side by side, you will understand why. If we block this bright coral shade on the ABH Sultry, the palette look almost immediately the same. So, I was extremely curious and I spent the entire morning swatching watching the eyeshadows and the ones from Mini Glam as well to see what are the similarities and what are the differences in order to be able to share them with you.
So what are the similarities and what are the differences? Well, obviously they are both cool, neutral, warmish eyeshadow palettes. The Anastasia has more mattes than the Natasha Denona and I think this palette is a study around browns and pinks. It only has one grey matte eyeshadow and this silvery one, when we swatch it, we can see that it has pinkish reflects and the remainder are different shades of brown and bronzish brown and all of them are in fact warmer than the ones on the Natasha Denona palette with the exception of this one which is probably the warmest of them all with the exception of the gold although this gold is also not a warm one it's neutral gold if such thing exists I find that while the sultry is a study in browns and a little bit in pink. The Natasha Denona Glam is a study in grays with also these two pink eyeshadows but all this side here are variations of grays and then we have these three browns so although they seem similar they end up being different and I find this three shades, this one, this one and this smoke shade. This one is pretty neutral but these two have clearly grayish undertones and this is a dark brown gray or a dark gray brown the way you prefer. These two shades are not yellowy gold or orange, are cooler or at least more neutral in their nature. So all in all what I found out, although they have a similar vibe when when we look at them they are different and I like them both. This sultry palette is probably my favorite palette from ABH and it's a pity that is a limited edition. I've checked it on the site from ABH and at least in the UK one it's no longer available and this one is going here to my site to be the, the new companion to my Biba palette. One thing that I've noticed is that with the exception of this gold here on the corner the other metallics that we have in the palette although they perform beautifully they are the kind of metallics that do not give that extreme foil like this one does although it's a glam palette it says daily appropriate as a glam palette can be as you can see in my look I use this four shades here plus this one and I'm going to show you now how I achieved it. I'm going to start by using this shade brow bone here beneath my brow lightly and on the inside corner and now I'm going to use my finger and apply this shade that says center eyelid and now I'm going to use a flat shader and apply this dark brown on the outside corner little bit on the bottom eyelashes as well and now I'm going to use a blender and I'm going to use this shade that says it is to blend here I really need to blend because this shade is a little bit more dark than I was expecting but it blends very easily a little bit more of the brown and now I'm going to use a very small flat shader and I'm going to use the darker brown in the lash line And this is it. I'm going to curve my eyelashes, apply mascara and I'll be back. So this is the final look. On my lips I have the Shantikai New Lip Veil from the Safari collection and this is in the shade Lumeria which is a cooler pink which I thought that would look well with the eyeshadows and if you want to see a review on this new collection from Shantikai I place the link here and below on the description and on my cheeks I have the Radiance Chic this is the on the pink shade the um, oil shark. So what do you think of my look? You like it?
So what are my final thoughts regarding this palette? I think it's gorgeous. I mean, I think I like 95% of the color stories that Natasha Denona comes out with and this one is inside the 95% for certain. I think these shades are extremely wearable and I think I'm going to wear them quite a lot on the weekend or even on a day-to-day -day basis when I have the patience to put an eyeshadow look. I like the quality of the shadows. I didn't find any eyeshadow that was performing worse than what I expected from Natasha Denona eyeshadows. If you have the Sultry palette, do you need this one? Probably not, but this was a limited edition that is no longer available. So, if you don't have it, I totally recommend this one. In terms of quality, it's totally comparable. And to be honest, I prefer the mattes from Natasha Denona than the ones from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I think the color story is equally beautiful. That is, if you like cool neutral shades. All in all, I'm very happy that I got it. And I'm definitely going to try. And I'm definitely going to try one of the other arrangements of eyeshadows. One for the light skins or medium tone skins. And see how the looks turn out. I will give you my feedback on that afterwards. So this is it for this video. I hope it was enjoyable and useful. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much for having spent this time with me. I really appreciate it. Until next time, bye!